Uh, to enable.org presents mathematical literacy, financial documents, shopping documents. Now, shopping documents um, are uh, in grade 10 mostly toll slips. So we got just quickly going to look at a toll slip, maybe go over a few questions that can be asked, um, just give a quick discussion on uh, toll slips. Right, um, this is the first toll slip. It the name is shop. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the store? Can we ask? The name is shop. The telephone number is given. The VAT registration number. Right now, you have bought a couple of products. Um, this is the product that is the capacity in this case, and this is the uh, price of the product. Now here at the bottom it says VAT rate excluding tax included. Right, couple of things. Do you see that there is an A there, there, there and there next to those uh, four prices? There are A's. It means that there is an amount called VAT value added tax. Add it on top of that product and that amount will go towards the government. So every person that buys s products at the store or some products also contribute towards the income of the country in terms of tax. Right right here at the bottom it gives says slip till cashier date time. Now the date that this purchase was made was on the 20th of May 2014 and it was made at 30 minutes past 4. All right. Um, I quickly just want to go to another um, toll slip and then we can answer a couple of questions about it. So let's add some uh, text. Right. So maybe the first question can be, um, let's say, how was the amount or the total amount of uh, 30 or oh, 63 rand 54? Ooh, amount spelled incorrectly, sorry. How was the amount of 63 rand 54 calculated? Maybe that can be the first question. Right, so let's, let's quickly look at this. If you take the 28 rand 99, onto that you plus 8 rand 28, 7 rand, 13 rand 98, 4 rand 79, 50 cents, you will see that that equals 30, uh, 63 rand 54. Right, now this was paid for by a credit card. And that's why you paid this total amount of 63 Rand 54. But if you would pay in cash, you cannot pay that to the, this 4 cents. And the reason for that is um, so we don't get two, a 2 cent coin anymore. So that's why the cash price will be 63 Rand 50. Okay, so it is really to your benefit to um, pay with cash because every time you go to the store you will get four cents discount. Sometimes you will get, well, four cents is the maximum. Oh, but nowadays they also don't make a five cents anymore. So you can get up to nine cents discount. And you know what? If you have a big business, it adds up. Right, so that's the first question that can be asked. The next question that can maybe be asked is um, uh, maybe what is the meaning of the star? What, 
what is the meaning of right this star in the margin here you'll see that there is also a star it says 0% VAT rate so it means that you do not pay a VAT on that product you do not pay VAT on that product okay and the last thing calculate the VAT amount right so how would we do that how first of all it is easy to calculate the VAT amount because they tell us that excluding VAT you will pay 48 rand 47 and if I multiply that with 14 percent remember 14 percent can also be 0.14 if you do not have a percentage button on your calculator you will get 6 rand 79 but how was this 48 rand 47 calculated if you take calculate the amount before that if you take this 55 rand 26 where that is already added on to that represents the 100% of the amount plus the 14% so that is really a 114% amount right so if we take 55 rand 26 and we divide it by um, we divide it by 114 percent dividing sign or 114 we get what one percent is the amount of one percent now if we multiply it by 100 we will get what hundred percent is and the hundred percent amount will be that 48 rand 47 cents okay so this is more or less the type of questions that can be asked about a cash register slip. Right, let's quickly go to the previous one. Uh, we have to zoom in a bit. Okay, sorry. <coughs> let's go to 200%. Right here, there is a couple of amounts that is exempted from that. Um, rice. Samp, uh, brown bread, eggs, onions, carrots, and milk. Now, the reason why we don't pay VAT onto that is um, often there was no v no value added. See, VAT stands for value added tax. There was no value added to the product, or it is product that is. Uh, healthier and the government sort of doesn't put tax onto that because that is uh, food that is consumed by the majority of people and also to make it um, to, to make it affordable to eat healthier food right sorry now here we can be asked a couple of more questions so let's insert some, a text box box um, the bottom here it says on oh that's very big let's go to 14 on what day was this purchase made okay and if we go here do you see that there's a time 12 32 31 uh, 2405.14 so that's the 24th of May 2014 okay um, and maybe yeah so so that 
is important because if you want to return something, it is good to. It says, please keep your toll slip as pr proof of purchase. Right, and I quickly want to highlight something else, and that is this uh, cash register slip. Um, here is a, uh, is a good way to ask time. Do you remember when we when we did time? Okay, so the question can be at what time expressed in AM or PM was this purchase made right now do you see that this time is 1430 or uh, 1630 sorry so if I take 16 and I subtract 12 I get 4 so this purchase was made at 430 So now the question is AM or PM? Now in the alphabet, A is before P. So therefore, A is before AM is before PM during the day. So A is in the morning and PM is in the afternoon. Right? Now 16 is always in the afternoon, so it means that this purchase was made at 4.30 p.m. Okay, so this is a lovely way to sort of incorporate time with financial documents. Thank you very much.